Hi Vogue, I'm Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and here's what I wear in a week. Okay, so this is a typical airport look for me, all about comfort, but still feeling really polished and stylish at the same time. So I have a bit of a knit situation going on here, kind of like a knitted suit. This is a look that I just purchased from The Row and I'm loving it. And then when I'm traveling, I always like to take a nice big bag, particularly if I'm with my son. I can keep my iPad in here, all of the things that I like to bring out on the plane. Jason just bought me this bag for my birthday, so I was very happy about that. He has impeccable taste, actually. Amazing, amazing taste. So he usually knows um, what I've had my eye on for, for a while. He nearly always gets it right. And I have on my new Gia RHW sandals, thong sandals from my new collection. I would say I'm usually traveling between the UK and the States the most. I think in the UK, um, I feel the style can either be much more um, polished and elegant and um, classic, but at the same time, it can also kind of be a little bit more rock and roll and undone. And then in LA, everything's quite casual. And so I find myself being able to wear things like whites and creams so much more. And what I say I've learned from being in LA um, about style is, it's okay to wear your your um, jogging bottoms outside. <laughs> Oftentimes, if I'm running from work straight to the airport, I will take with me an outfit to get changed into on the plane. And can I just say, whatever class you're in, whether you're in coach or first, on most of the planes I take, the bathroom is the same size. So get changed early on in the flight so you avoid any pee that has accumulated across the floor from our lovely male counterpart. Okay, so this is a look that I might wear to a special daytime event or an extra special day on set at work. This is a beautiful leather skirt and jacket from one of my favorite designers, Magda Buttram. And then I've paired it with um, my strappy sandal from my Gia collection. I love the color palette that's going on here. I have um, a Bottega bag and a little white crop top underneath. When I first started modeling, I was a hot mess, a complete hot mess. I grew up on a farm, so I had no idea how to dress. Sienna Miller and Kate Moss were the sort of the style icons that everybody was obsessed with. And so for me, I would run to Topshop and try and emulate their looks, um, which was always a bit of a disaster and a poor man's version of their of their gorgeous style that they had. I do love a good shoulder pad because I have quite narrow shoulders. And in fact, I'm always looking for clothing with a little bit of a structure at the shoulder. So you've really got to be in the mood for it, I find. So this is sort of a typical everyday look that I might wear in LA. And this is typically something I probably wear if I'm going out with my son as well. Although I can hear you all going, she's wearing white with a toddler, what is she thinking? And usually I don't know what I'm thinking. And by the end of the day, I'm covered in tomato ketchup, mayonnaise, crumbs, spit. You name it. The bag and the belt are from Bottega Veneta. The jeans are R13 and the shoes are from The Red. So I love a bodysuit. I love this Zara one is that it's a, can I say it's a thong on camera? It's a thong. The nice thing about a bodysuit is that they unpop. And that's all I'm gonna say. So <laughs> if you do find yourself on a long car journey or a long flight and you did wear your bodysuit, you can always 
rest assured, just like a bra strap, it can be undone. You know, I've loved fashion since I can remember as, you know, a young teenage girl. My mum and I used to bond over looking at magazines together. That was our sort of like girl time, mum and daughter time. At the time, she was my style icon all those years ago. Does everybody remember when Ugg Boots first came on the scene? Me being, what it must, must have been 14, 15 at the time, could not have actually afforded a pair of proper Ugg Boots. So I seem to remember buying a kind of knockoff pair off of eBay, which I was so excited about getting. And when they finally arrived in the post, they went straight on my feet. I seem to remember wearing a denim cut-off skirt with them quite a lot. I remember kind of cu coming downstairs to sort of wear them out for the first time and my entire family just hysterically erupting into like hysterical, hysterical, like laughing, crying, tears, because they'd never seen a pair of Ugg boots before and very much did not get the, the trend and the craze at the time. Okay, so this is a sort of typical look for me when I'm going to the office or I've got some meetings. Um, I love a good tailored pant. These are um, from The Row. I love a trench coat, particularly in London because the weather changes throughout the day so much. This is another beautiful piece from The Row. And then underneath I have um, another trusty bodysuit. This one is from Hermes. Um, it's in this gorgeous stretch jersey fabric and I love the fact that it's backless. Um, gives it that little bit of an edge, um, a little bit sexy. And then I have um, another pair of my shoes on from my collection. This is um, my amazing Bottega pouch bag, which I love. I have these in a few colors. So when I was 16, I interned at a modeling agency in London, hoping that I'd get to go on a photo shoot. And of course I spent the whole week answering phones and sending faxes and photocopying and running around London doing errands and emptying ashtrays in the modeling agency and uh, making cups of tea and things like that. But it was an amazing experience. So I went back into the modeling agency about six months later after I finished my exams at school and they took a few Polaroids and asked me if I'd like to go out on a casting. And I was just so ecstatic. And then within a few days, I was out on my first test shoot and um, well, the rest is history, really. Okay, so this is a great look that I would perhaps wear in the daytime and then straight out to a date in the evening. This is a look from the most recent Hermes runway show. I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love the color combination here. And I have um, my woven strap heels on in the brown again, which I think look great. I think for me, a great way to take a day outfit from to a night outfit is obviously changing footwear. So if you're wearing flats, then you could throw on a pair of heels and that will instantly make you feel ready to sort of go out. I would say you could even wear a pair of sweatpants to dinner if you threw on a pair of heels and a great blazer. You know, I think the only thing that probably wouldn't take you from day to night is maybe, maybe a pair of dungarees but I usually go out sort of once, maybe twice a week. We kind of like to keep things casual and real and laid back. Jason is so unbelievably stylish. When we went on our first date, um, he actually had this beautiful, like tan leather bomber jacket from Hermes. I love that piece because it will forever remind me of, of our first date. So this is a really cool look that I've been loving from Givenchy. It's just really beautiful. I love the way this top is constructed and, and then the black pants kind of gives it that sort of masculine vibe. I probably wear this out to cocktails with girlfriends or to a special evening event. So actually I love this top because because of the diamond shape, it kind of um, accentuates the shoulder area and it's really elongating. It's all party in the back. 
Anybody who knows me knows I love a Nike. <laughs> In my early 20s, late teens, I would be out most nights of the week and now in my 30s, since I have a little bit more responsibility than I did those days, going out dancing is not as frequent as it used to be. So you want to have a big bottle of water and two paracetamol before you go to bed. And then the next morning, a Bloody Mary and an English fry up. Can't beat it. Works every time. Usually. So this is a great little outfit that I would probably wear at home, hanging out with my family. This is um, Proenza Schooler. The shoes are my trusty mules from Bottega. My son, he always admires my outfits. He loves seeing me dressed up to go out to work and coming back. Where have you been, mum? You're all dressed up. I have a mini, mini fashionista on my hands. He couldn't care less about what he's wearing, but absolutely, is besotted with whatever I'm wearing and loves it when I put a dress on. He said to me the other day, go put a pretty dress on, mum, or I'm tired of seeing you in sweatpants. <laughs> that is a three-year-old. <laughs> I feel that my, my life has become much more meaningful since having a son or since having a child, and, and that's really special. Okay Vogue, so there you have it. That's everything that I wear in a week. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I hope you learned something. I hope you <laughs> that you bought something and I look forward to seeing you again soon.